Welcome back to another Wix website video guide. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at the booking settings in your Wix back office and how you can manage these settings and what these settings could offer to your booking system. So as you can see, Wix has have had a update. So your home screen will look a little bit different now. So it will look like this and the layout will be slightly different. Um, I am just doing this Wix video on a template site that I did create. So it is not an active site and it isn't a live site. So this is just for video purposes. So what you're going to do is on the left hand side, you're going to go to an area that says settings and you're going to click on that. And then what you're going to do is scroll down and go to booking settings. So this is the settings area for your booking system that you will need to adjust, change to whatever fits your business. We're going to go through each one one by one. So as you can see here, we've got appointment hours. If you click on that. It will take you to the hours of your booking system and when the hours can be between for when people can get booked in with services for yourself. So as you can see, mine is set from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. But however, you can adjust these, of course, to whatever is suitable for you. You can take off that particular day and you can put that day on or just say you wanted to open between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. but then reopen at 1 p.m. Um, till 3 p.m. for example. So you just need to click this little plus sign here on the day, um, the specific um, day in the week that you would like to do. And then you can change the time. So we can do from here 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then we can do 1 p.m to 3 p.m. and then that will save that interval time so between 12 and 1 the salon is closed and appointments cannot be taken so this is where you can customize your hours of your availability and of course you can turn off and turn on days that are particular for your business all you need to then do is click save and then your booking settings have been updated for your appointment hours now what you would like to do you can go back into the area that um, we were just in. So we can go back here, or you could just follow the instructions that are currently on your screen in, on the screen that I was on previously. But we're gonna click back, and then we're gonna go to the next area, which is booking policy, and we're gonna click there. So the booking policy is, of course, the policy and cancellations, waiting list, um, all the important bits for your booking system. So in this section here, the first bit you have is client booking rules. So you can limit early appointments, limit late bookings and cancellation and rescheduling. So you can limit early bookings. So how far in advance can clients start booking? So we can do it, um, clients can book a day before. Or if you didn't want um, that to happen and you want your clients to book even for the same day, as you can see, you just turn it off. So we want clients to book um, two days in advance, just so that, of course, it gives us enough time to prep and obviously be available in the salon, for example. Limit late booking. So when is the last, the latest clients that can book a session? So again, you can do one to two days. You can do zero if you wanted to. So the last bookings, um, of what can be done. So limit early bookings, how far in advance can bookings be done and when is the sort of last sort of amount of time that they can book in. So it could be an hour, you can change it to minutes, to hours, to days. It is up to you on your preference. Cancellation and rescheduling. How close to the start time can a client cancel or reschedule? Again, this is up to your business. I have a cancellation period for my business of four days. So it would be of four days for cancelling and rescheduling because then it gives enough time for my business um, as graphic design to allow myself to get another client booked in. But for a salon, possibly you could probably do that for around two days or a day. And then you can enter the cancellation policy here. So um, as you can see, you can have the cancellation policy written here, which is optional, but it is up to you. When you scroll down, you'll see time zone displayed. Always keep it on your business's time zone. Do not put it on the client's time zone as what this will do is then adjust the time zone, um, the time zone 
whether they're in another country, which you don't want to do, especially if your bookings are in a specific location and they can obviously not travel to that um to that location unless they of course are traveling um from another country to the country you're based in and want to get booked in with you so um what i would recommend is just keep it on your business's time zone um let clients choose between your time zone or theirs you can have this clicked on um, this just allows them to click the option to show that time zone exactly for the example that I just mentioned. So just say I was flying over to Ireland and I wanted to visit a salon in Ireland that is known for their nails and I wanted to get booked in with them. It would update the time zone for me um, for that specific time zone, um, whether it was in Italy, in France. Um, so this option when you tick it will allow that but you want to keep your business time zone in check so it's booked within your time zone but you want clients to choose their time zone in their location so that they're booking at the correct time appointment time slots so you can customize the availability when they book so you can offer start times for your appointments so when you click based on service duration as you can see there's an information bar that you can click when you offer clients start times this is based on their duration so the based on service duration so for example if we had a nail service that went on for an hour it will delay the next time slot that can be available for another hour However, what will then happen is that your calendar will then appear um, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 a.m., 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m. So that doesn't really make it very helpful. Whereas if you done every 10 minutes, for example, or every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes, depending, is the, I believe 30 minutes is the best one. So just say you had an appointment time slot that finished... Um, started at 10 o'clock and it was an hour and a half um, time limit so after that hour and a half of that duration of that service um, the next appointment would be obviously bang on that 30 minute mark of when that um, appointment finishes so it's really important so as you can see offer client start times every five minutes this is how it will show in your calendar so how it will show is that if we done 30 minutes, it would be 7, 7.30, 8, 8.30, um, nothing in between that. So it's only set sort of available times in between the time slots that you have. Waiting list, you can also put a waiting list open so you can click the waiting list option so that if the capacity um, of all your time slots and dates are fully booked, but someone cancels and it becomes available on your booking system this waiting list will then allow people to verify and get an email to their inbox um, obviously clients will only be able to join the waitlist only through the Wix mobile app um, if booking from your website they'll be promoted to download the app so the Wix app is available for every single website however it is just a generic app that is just used um, that people can book your services on so it is just a very generic um, app that Wix has that they, you can use to have waiting lists as well but we're going to keep that off the next section so once you click back it will go back to this screen again you don't have to click back um, to the settings area this is still very much the same thing with all the booking settings intact so the next bit is notifications and communications so this is where the email and SMS reminders come in. So you're going to click on that. And as you can see, there's many different options to have for your reminders for your customers and your clients. Now, obviously, as you can see, the confirmation has been clicked on. You can, of course, go ahead and customize this. You do just click the customize button. And then, of course, it all pops up. But what I do recommend is do not remove these coding bars of the BRs as these are the coding that will implement the times, the dates that your clients have selected on the booking system. So in the gaps, while avoiding these bits here, you can, of course, type in um, 
your message that you would like for your client as so i thank you for booking and then what you can do is just click save and then that will save. You can have email reminders that are sent 24 hours before, but you will, of course, need to upgrade to a certain Ascend plan. So if you do upgrade to a certain Ascend plan, your email reminders will also be sent 24 hours before, but also a text message reminder will be sent 24 hours before. So I do recommend if you are somebody that likes to remind their clients constantly, definitely upgrade this and activate these two features as they will be very, very important for your business. And then, of course, once those have been activated, you will also have the customize button underneath each of those for um, the purpose of editing the information you want sent to them. You can also do the customize customization of the cancellation email. So notify your participants when you have to cancel. So if you needed to cancel a specific appointment because the salon is shut, um, a family emergency has come up, you can, of course, customize this. Um, why it's been cancelled. Um, obviously, give them a contact number, a bit of information that their booking has been cancelled. Or if you have been asked to cancel it, then this is the sort of information you can fill in here. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom, these are automations. You don't really need to have these for um, your notifications for bookings. So you can just leave them. You can also get your business notifications and customize these to make sure you get notifications for bookings. You just click the customize button and send me an email notification for every new booking. So you always get notified when there is another booking coming through. Now, if we click back, the last section we have is client details. So the booking form, the booking form is the most important part of your website. So this is the area that your client fills in before they pay the deposit or fully books in with you. So this is the area we would say could become your consultation form we would say that you can ask questions get the right information you need before your client gets booked in so as you can see you've got the add info bit which you can have um, as the title or subtitle um, obviously for the um, bit of your um, the checkout just before the checkout for before they do their payment so you can edit the page title to be um, consultation form and then you can add here a little bit of a subtitle with more information so um, please fill in all your details to complete your booking and then we click the tick button and then this is the new name of our form now with the Wix booking system, unfortunately, you can only create one form. So make sure that anything you put in this form is important and relevant for your bookings and for your clients that you need the information on. So as you can see, we have name, email, phone number, number of participants. So this is only if people book, um, for example, this will only show if there's multiple people in a booking, um, this is just something that is just mandatory that is there. So um, it'll only appear for services that allow clients to multiple um, book people, basically, as you can see, it says it there. Address to confirm message um, of their, um, obviously the client's place. So it appears when service location is set. So if you are booking, for example, a let's say a lash appointment but you're doing it at their address it will come up with address so that they can the client can enter their address so you know where to go but just say you wanted to add more questions you just click here on the add custom field and then you click the field type and you have three selections you have short answer paragraph and checkbox the short answer is for any short answers of course that you want to ask so you can ask the question of um, are you pregnant for example so we can do um, are you pregnant and you can make this a mandatory required field and then click the tick button and it will come up so they will have to put an answer in the short field yes or no 
go to custom field again you can do the paragraph um, and then you can do for example do you have any allergies if yes please list below and then what this will do is allow the client to list their allergies for 250 255 um, characters so we've done that and then the most important one is a checkbox so I agree to the terms and conditions this is one of the most important things um, I would say when a booking is to go through that um, I'd recommend everyone to have on their consultation forms or before a checkout you've got to make this a required form so they have to tick the box and then you can also add a link that goes directly to um, your policy so view policy and then you can just copy and paste your link here um, so for example we're just going to add my link and then what that will do is come up with the policy link so people can view the policy before ticking it so that option is there and they have to tick it before continuing now as you can see you have the form buttons here one of the buttons will appear at the end of the form depending on how your service is set up so you've got the book now the pay now the request to book so of course the book it is um book now so if the person uh, if they're paying in person um you can just change that to book now um if they're paying a deposit you can change this to the pay now bu button to um pay deposit or slash payments if they're paying in full and then you request the book for services with booking approval so this you'll keep exactly the same so if they need to request it then they'll just click that button so then you click save form and then that is all your booking settings that have been updated so these are the four sections that are really really important for your booking settings i do advise you have a play around with these and make these um to the way that you want them for your business and make sure you're asking the questions that are relevant and needed in order to cover your business but also to avoid any gaps in between your schedule if you have any questions about the booking settings please leave a message in the comments i hope you really enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe for more videos as i'll be bringing out more different areas of the Wix back office so you can get to grips with your website.